essentially what we got here is an old-fashioned haunting with and Paul, you know, a young couple, like they're 27. They moved five and a half years ago. They said phenomena started almost immediately, being shadows. The husband, Paul, woke up, saw a spirit on top of him. And, like, he went, he was so scared. They've also seen a dark, shadowy presence. She was with one of her children at nighttime. There was a black shadow. There's also rumors about some children in the nearby area. Where are they hearing these rumors from? Like neighbors? The neighbors. Yeah, I'm due for the family. And I'd be interested in seeing what explanation we come up with. Hi there. How are you? Nice to meet you. Hi. 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 Director's log is 4.38 p.m. About to start walking. Here in the kitchen. My husband said he came in, it was dark, and he clicked on the light and here, and he said he saw a dark shadow, and it just went straight down into the bay. When they were little, I experience with... Sure. About, there's a lady in the light, and I used to talk to her about, you know, what's going with me? How do you know that? Because she's mean. And she couldn't really tell me she was mean. And then my son said the same thing, pointing to the light. And when they point the light, is the light on? No, like night light. Okay. In Paul's room, he woke up to figure out what was going on. He freaked out, ran out of bed, and started screaming, ran through the whole house. So I chased after him, trying to figure out what's going on with tell me until we came back up here. And he was like, I don't want to scare you, but I was laying here. There's like somebody above me, just above him. Okay. It's where you had your main paranormal experience. Exactly. I, I, you know, I sleep and like immediately, you know, as soon as I lay down, I open my eyes back up. A red beard and red eyes standing above me in bed, directly over me like it's there. And then what happened? He disappeared? You I jumped up out of bed and he was just... think this is happening? It just seems like sometimes, you know, with living in this... And, you know, different times of the year, the spring flows. I guess it's possible that all that water comes from the same source, possibly. It just almost seems like most of, you know, things floating through the house activity-wise. It seems like it. Interview with... Did anyone in this house uh, spirit board? Yeah. Who? My husband and his brother. Mm -hmm. I actually still have it because oh, yeah? he won't get rid of it. Please, you get rid of it. He said no. And he won't. Why was he using I think they were just trying to goof around with it. Anything happen? I think they moved or something, but I don't think they said anything more than that. Didn't get too involved. I let them play. It gets higher somewhere around here like it's a huge sort of maybe somebody turned the light on higher and, and it's pulsing a lot more okay open sleeps it is fluctuating the master bedroom actually closest to the the father's side but that's interesting because he had that major night terror right mm. okay we need to get ready for dead time cool cool all right we are about to commence dead time Copy that, Ryan. And we are alone in the house, pretty dark. I don't see if anything react. This is. Does anyone tell us why you're here? We're here to talk to you, or listen to you. Do you not want the people living here to stay here? Do something and let us know you're here. Anyone in here? Where's the lady? Where's the... Why don't you do something to let me know that you're here? In the mass bedroom, on the bed, and you're here. Can you make... Did you hear that? Yeah. There's someone here in this house. You can come forward. You don't need to be afraid. We want who you are, where you come from. Are you happy or do you need help? Just let us know this is your house. Oh my God. I heard like a... 
We have the time, just so you know. Elfie was standing still, and don't think it came from us. Oh. Can I have sound? So let me know it was you. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up dead time, Serge. You copy that. Crystal seems to scare the kids, falls out most of the time working, so she has them because she stays at home most of the time. But he seemed to have the bigger ex. He's seen full-blown apparitions that are, you know, making him jump out of bed. In this case, saying he woke up and saw a man levitating above him, this thing screamed at him. Crystal never heard the scream. Her as a psychology specialist, he's going to privately talk to all of them. We're the neighbors to okay. see about more history or testimony about mm -hmm. the house. Okay. The stream has been mentioned a couple times, and as we know, having a house or near a house sometimes is, is an attributing factor, almost like a current to bring something through your house. So, I feel as well. This is the area. We were just, we've been hearing these rumors that there's a stream that goes underneath the house, so thing by looking at it. Well, yeah, that wouldn't be unusual. What happened was that originally ran down here, ran from north to south towards the little towns that are down there. A lot of times what'll happen to you, then you won't see it again for several miles, and you'll find it's oh. so it's gone underground. So it's probable that it actually Oh, counts. yeah, sure, sure. So do you know anything about the cemeteries that are on the street? Well, there are several different cemeteries. The oldest one is up on the hill there. Cemeteries tend to be put houses, yeah. and I would imagine that they came first in some of these areas and in houses. Hey, Crystal. Hey. This is my friend Adam. He's checking. This is the guy I was telling you about who lives nearby. And so he just wants to, with you, talk to Paul when he gets in. Okay. Cool. Sound good? My place is talk. Awesome. As far as you know them well, or are you close with them, or yeah, and she has. It. She's told me about instances where things have happened mm -hmm. when they say this stuff is happening. Yeah, I do. <laughs> there could be things over there. He's in the area. Have you ever heard of anything? Yeah, actually. Good. And when did that happen? Twenty. You know how far away that was? It wasn't far. The first street up here is right around the bend. I don't know too much other than that, but um, living between two probably doesn't help. It's 7, 10 p.m. on Sunday, and uh, Michelle Belanger, the psychic medium, house has just arrived. We'll start here and just let me know. If you get I have an image of almost like shadowy tentacles, little tendrils of something. I don't know what it's connected to. It's the only image that I have in my head right now. Just patterns of light and surely unsettling image, actually. I think there's a person. What's I think in from his perspective. This person. I think this is something in the past. There's a pressure to it now, something oppressive. To it. Seeing the watch. Assessment of the family. Well, it doesn't match hysteria. So hysteria we can rule out. With Paul, he had this of sound mind. Crystal, she's also of sound mind. She's telling Eve's this to be real in her sense. We all know that beliefs in this situation, as all other situations dealing with the paranormal, the family is that something is happening. There's something cooking. Okay. Well, let's get ready for dead time. All right. So I'm going to leave this out for my team. We're going to do two things. There's, we're going to monitor on surveillance as my team attempts to uh, seance, but it's more like spirit communication. Really try and talk to whatever they're doing. That one person will be alone upstairs, investigating. See most of it. And commence dead time. Copy that. We are here to communicate to you that haunts this place and this family. You can choose or with Katrina, who is upstairs. Um, Lena, being watched. This is kind of an uncomfortable feeling, actually. Can you, can you give us your name? O. Oh. J. M. Special here? 
I keep hearing like a... Where were the tapping sounds coming from? Um, it sounded like the hallway. If there is more than one of you, only one at a time. Do you understand? Uh, that is yes. affirmative. It, oh. What was that? Heck, you're not sure if it was from downstairs. I said sometimes you are frightening the family. Well, clearly you don't care. No. Hager's in the monitor. Copy that. There is a house. I'd really, really like to speak with you. Lay standing, sitting, lying. Okay. Is Katrice, is she sitting? Yes. That correct? Yes, it is. Okay. This is my friend. Know who she is? Yes. You purposely trying to scare her? Yes. To the male spirit, you die here or nearby in this area. I think it just called you. Why don't we just go and get to the point? Crystal, do you want. I need to get out of here. If you're going to continue to do the. Diddy, I promise you. We will. I promise you doing those things, Ack. And I swear to God, you do not get the f out. Whoa. I think it just called you a jerk. You to do these acts of stupidity, I promise you, do will bring us back. And I swear to God, you do back. Get the f out. Was opened, I now close. That which I, I now shatter. The only sense of active presence was when we did pull out the, the sense that there had been some things that were attracted specific activity, mm -hmm. that they were used to it, that they... Katrina, you felt a little, you felt... ...being being watched, but what I was telling Josh while he was in tech, I almost kind of felt like a shin room, but it didn't feel like a person or a spirit. I have with blasting my brain with EMF. Yeah. yeah. And I've had the same. Mm -hmm. And for me, it felt like, it did not feel like, felt like paranoia because you're, you know you're being watched. Mm -hmm. And logically, it doesn't make sense. You just know you're being watched by... I had several sensations, but nothing that I could, kind of like electricity kind of running down my hands and the sensation of... I think it's possible yeah. that maybe there is something, but clearly something with electrical here. The spirit board. Yes. Some of the cases we've done in Paranormal State, believe we're majorly haunted, start out with a spirit board. She was saying it's basically cracking the door open. Yeah, it didn't start out dramatically. It was just in playing around. Holy, it got worse and worse. So it's kind of like, you know, someone playing dumb. Don't buy it at a toy store. Mm -hmm. But in theory, if it works, who's to say it will go away? Yeah. It's best to remove the... What does it matter to have this board in this house? We put as much as we do into a board game, obviously. <laughs> were the effects if exposed on a person. It's fine, we're exposed to high amounts of EMF, had paranormal experiences. You got it two ways. People think they're having paranormal experiences, hallucination. Hmm. But there's also been times where high amounts of EMF were recommended actual paranormal experiences. We can't judge one or the other. But the bottom line is, we found that there's hot certain parts of your house. Hmm. Whether it's some sort of hallucinogy for these spirits, if we can eliminate the EMF, I think anyways. <laughs> There's um, paint that's reported to block so some plants that you can probably just hang on there that will help absorb some of that EMF. We will have Michelle just do a cleansing if you guys are cool with it. Um, you have our email and phone number at the office. Sure. You know, we're only about two and a half hours away. So yes. if anything, maybe us a call or email us. Bottom line is you have help. No watchers in the night.